I'm Andrew Rizzi, and welcome back, of course, to Aurora 4X as the Allied Commonwealth Alicia. So, very much like Dwarf Fortress or whatever, this is a very in-depth, complicated, but relatively uh, UI-unfriendly game. However, Aurora Forex is hilariously in-depth, and we have got ourselves into combat. We have some enemy ships headed towards us. We need to close the distance of them, though, so we're going to just skip forwards like 20 minutes. Hostile ship of the Kamaru class. Hello. Okay, we're detecting more and more. Let's skip forwards like an hour. Right. So the Kamaru is also capable of the same speed. This is gonna be interesting. Now, our weakness is our number of missiles. If we run out of missiles, we're dead. Uh, we have some Gorse Cannons, but they aren't going to be the best. Let's try three hours. Try using 30 second increments for a little bit. It's a bit risky, but. Oh, hello, 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 hello! Double click on you to zoom to you. The Gwyneths are closing in. They fired at a couple of missiles. They might well be in range for us to shoot at now. Hastings. Still can't see him. Really? You still can't get a lock? What range do they need to get to? God damn it. Well, those missiles are probably not a threat. Yeah, they dive towards us to fire the missiles and then they're diving away, I think. Mm, kill the missiles. The benefits of overkill. And then moving away again. Still can't catch him. Right. Well, guess we'll go back to 30 seconds. Don't know why they just dived into fire like three missiles at us. Strange life choices there. Yeah, we've lost them because they've gone too far. They must have been pretty close. They must have been actually at that range, which we'd start to see them on our missile fire control. They must have been very close. Right, now we're talking. Now, obviously, the place we want to shoot these is here. This light, gr light blue um, ASM Eagle mess is all the different Eagles actually overlaid. It's every single missile we've got that's loaded. So, we're going to skip forward another 20 minutes. I think they're firing at me. They did just stop time for a second. But we'll have to see. They're still closing, though. The Dragon and the Kamru. Hmm. Oh, that, that stopped. They're definitely firing missiles. They are 100% firing at us. Hopefully they'll continue to move towards us. If they start moving away, that means that our missiles have to try and catch up with them, which means that our missiles need to cover a further distance. So instead of being able to fire there, we'll only be able to fire like here. But they're definitely firing at us right now. We're going to have to try and weather this storm. Now, the big part about weathering the storm isn't going to be if they hit us. It's going to be if we can launch enough missiles. We still have a fair few in our missile banks, so... Running out of AMMs is the problem you have. If you run out of anti-missile missiles, that's the issue. turn on auto turns, I want to start skipping forwards by fives. Because that will, every time we're stopped, it'll continue on, unless there's a big reason to stop. The drag guns continue forwards, the Kumris are backing off. Alright, control F8. 
So, that suggests to me that the Dragals have a second weapon. The Kumris do not have a second weapon. The Kumris have fired their missile load and are now backing away. They don't have anything else to do. The Dragals have fired their missile load and are now engaging because they have a gun. So, we are going to change our orders. Crusade Force, I want you to chase down. And then contacts. Chase down the Kumru 3. Uh, I want you to move to... Uh, follow. Minimum distance from target. And I want you to follow at a distance of... Let's say... 20 million. So, this is 1,000 kilometers. So, 2,000. So you should try and follow at that distance so you'll close in. Um, you have an iron range and you're moving towards me, so it's time to fire missiles. The Drago are 9,000 tons. You can see that we have targets. We have targets. So let's do the job here. Drago. Let's start with Boswell Field. 20 missiles. You can only target one thing with one missile fire control. We can't split the fire between multiple different targets, however we will need to overcome everything on the ship and destroy it. So I feel that if we fire you at the Dragao, so select the Dragao, and then we click Assign, so no target assign will change to Dragao 001, HF. HF is hold fire. Kolkudden will set you to the Dragao 002. And Falkirk, Dragao 003. Now, if you wanted to copy everyone on the same target, you could use copy class in task group. That copies the targets to the same class in the entire task group. And you can do the same for class in system. We're not going to. I only want to fire 20 missiles at each of them to begin with. So, boss of field. We're going to hit fire control for selected fire control, open fire. That will open fire with this fire control. WF, weapons three. If you want to do it for the entire fleet, you can use open fire. We're not going to. Never hit auto fire. It's bad. It's, it's just bad. Uh, we'll open fire with that fire control and that fire control. You're not firing. Good. And we'll make sure that sync fire is enabled. It is. Just double check. And then we skip forward five seconds. It'll say preparing to fire, but weapons are not ready. Skip forward 30 seconds. It'll say uh, weapons are not ready. There we go. Cole Cudden. Waiting for other ships in the same fleet, fleet to confirm their readiness before firing. So the Cudden is like, I'm ready to fire. I'm meant to be doing sync fire. Where's everyone else? Come on, come on, fire. Come on, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. So the Kulkudden is ready. Falcook is now ready. We're waiting on Boswell Field, and then they are fired. And they're saying the reload time is five minutes. Okay. What we'll do is because I don't want to fire another load without checking up the impact of the first one, is I'm going to hit cease fire for current fleet, and that'll tell everyone in the current fleet to hold fire. Now, let's watch what the result is. So, four to five minutes. Oh, I think someone just fired a missile at us. Oh, no, we've just detected their missiles. Right. Yeah, we're unloading our anti-missile missiles at them. And here we go. This is just salvo after salvo coming in. And there we go. We're hitting their missiles. I'm not going to bother going through all of that. In fact, what I might do is go to... Is it display? Display 1. And then... Events. So we're going to turn that off. That way we can see what's happening here a little bit more easily. Okay, they're getting close. That's only one missile, admittedly. We killed it. I'm gonna shift our view over a little bit so we can see those missiles incoming. Now, my main concern is because we're firing three missiles for every one, we might have a little bit of attrition happening. Nah. Zoom back over here. Okay, that's another missile coming at us. We killed it. That's three missiles coming at us. We killed them. 
think we've got this. The issue will be if we run out of missiles. Hmm, how many more missiles do we have in the task group? Uh, not many. We're going to switch to two missiles anti-missile mode. We're probably down to about 40% of our initial load of missiles, so... And we'll copy in task group. Actually, we'll, mm, we'll copy in task group. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. It's getting close. Oh, that's a missile round of us. Nuclear detonation. So it did get killed by an anti-missile missile. Okay. However, that to me looks like a full salvo. Well, not a full salvo, but it is a salvo. There are six missiles there. There are five missiles there. Okay, that got through the missile defense. So, God, this is messy. A lot happened this turn. Right, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Destroyer, fired, missed, missed, hit and killed. Destroyer, fired, Killed, missed, missed, fired, killed. Two missiles destroyed. Okay, we didn't set them all. In that five seconds, though, that five seconds alone, 52 missiles intercepted their target. A couple more intercepting. Oh, we did kill both of them. Energy weapon impact, we did kill both of them. Okay. We're still moving forward through this barrage of missiles. This is the problem with having them actually outrange us. It means that we have to deal with this before our missiles are going to hit. Our missiles are nowhere near the target right now. now. One thing we can do, by the way, for our event log is we can turn on colors. So if we set to default... Is that how we get the colors? No. How do we get the colors on? Oh, I'm going to be looking at that. All right. Set it to make sure we're looking at the Allied Commonwealth rather than the SMVU. Not that it really matters. There we go. Background color. Text color. We'll go background colors. Oh, wait, no. Which button? There we go. Use race color. So we'll jump. What, what button am I looking for? One of these sets the colors. Mm. Yeah, so that's all of us. That's not what we need. Filter events. Trying to show errors. One of these buttons here is. I was just to open and close it. No. There we go. Right, I have to be in Allied Commonwealth for it to work for some reason. Uh, right. Now this is coloured. You can see that blue chance to hit, yellow missile missed. Um, sorry, target missed. Uh, orange is missile intercepted. So you can roughly see that there's a lot of stuff going on. Red is explosion detected. Which is fine, it's not on our ships. We're good. Again, energy weapon impact, so we intercepted another missile. How many more are we expecting? Oh, God! We're going to run out of anti-missile missiles. We're just going to hope that we can catch them before they... This is expensive. So many missiles being used here. Oh, hello. That's a lot on us. That might have been a hit. We'll have to check that. Out of ammo. The Elizabeth I and the Prince of Wales are both out of ammo. I don't think we were hit. Yeah, we intercepted it point blank.
How many more missiles are headed for us? We've got a choice now. We can try and flee, or we can try and take them on. This is going to be a rough one. I did not expect them to have quite so many missiles. Hmm. Nonetheless, our arm's pretty thick. So we'll see. Uh, I'm also going to just quickly take a break, because I need to go and check on the cat, because I smell kitty poo. I think we're committed now, so I think we'll have to try and blunder through. We'll see what our point defense alone can do against them. Okay, here we come. That's five missiles. I don't think we have a resort to this. So I'm going to turn back on the event log. We killed it. The S Club party and the Reach managed to kill five missiles. Okay, that's a start. Let's see how it goes. There's bigger salvos coming. This is six. Okay, the Don't Stop Moving killed one. The S Club party killed one. And the Reach killed four. Our point defense is good, but it's not good enough to stop a full salvo. This is gonna be more. This is gonna be 10. Okay. Three were killed by the Don't Stop Moving. Two killed by the S Club Party. Five were killed by the Reach. There are more coming, though. There's going to be 21 in the next salvo. Here we go! Seven were killed by the Don't Stop Moving. Seven were killed by the S Club Pie. Seven were killed by the Reach. Ooh! Again! We killed all of them! And that's six. That looks like the end of a salvo. We killed him. You might be wondering why it says one weapon fired, two missiles destroyed. That's because each of our quad obviously is a quad. It fires four. And each of those has three shots. So we can kill quite a few. But yeah, we just weathered their entire salvos towards the end there. And we killed them. Our gores did an amazing job. Our, our point defense, as Twitch chat says, thank you, Zinc, our, our, our point defense is on point. I was never going to believe that that was going to be the case. I was going to hope it would be the case, but we managed to kill and rip our way through those missiles. It did a good job. Uh, chat also reminds me that we do actually have a second type of anti-missile that we didn't fire. Let's check. It was fired, right. The finches we had as well were fired. The reason behind that is that the launcher went, I am out of sparrows. Do I have any more? I have. Oh, look, a Finch. That's the same missile series, and it used it. Because it's the same missile series, so it will still use the same missile series, even if it's a different missile. So it did use the Finch up. Uh, Trisha brought that up. It's a good point. But they were used. So let's see how our missiles do. Okay, 60 missiles coming in. Let's read the log. Hmm, from the top. Okay. So, salvo of 20 missiles in set's target. Chance to hit is about two thirds. Drago hit by 12 points of damage from the Eagle 2. Has an arm strength at least three. Missile 2 missed. Next one hit. Missed, hit, missed, hit, 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 missed. Many hits. It's still alive, though, and no sign of it venting gas or anything, so we'll see. The next one. Lots of hits. Next one. Lots of hits. Oh, the next one, actually. The Drago 1. Nuclear detonation. Secondary power system explosion. Strength 4. 
Secondary power system explosion strength 33. So the Dragar 1 just had a secondary explosion of power strength 4 and strength 33. That means we hit something. And it's a secondary power system, so that's going to be a reactor. Which means they probably had some sort of beam weapon that they were trying to shoot us with because they need reactors to run. That explains that. However, they're still all alive. So they need to die. We go five, minutes, five seconds forward just to clear that. And, ooh, have we? We didn't kill them. Yeah, we didn't kill any of them, but you can see there's a thing here. It's a zero, zero, and then it's weird. That's because it's zero, zero, one and zero, zero, two directly on top of each other. One of the Dragals has split from the group, probably because its speed is, I'm thinking like zero or something. Either way, they've all had their speed reduced. I would judge their speed has been reduced to a quarter, which means we've taken out three engines and they have four. That's good information. However, they're still active ships, so we need to kill them. So. They don't have any point defense. We don't have to worry about sending them in huge volleys. We can actually be a little bit more piecemeal about this. Now, we could send 20 missiles. That would be maybe more than would be needed. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab 11 through 20, and I'm going to hit clear. I've actually cleared everything, because it clears the set of fire control. So instead I'll select 10 and 1, and then assign. And you'll notice that now I've got 11 through 20 are unassigned, and 1 through 10 are assigned. This is because I only want to fire 10 missiles. And we will, if we click target by task group, we'll see the T's come up, assigned to the Dragar 1. Ah, actually, all of them are already assigned. Okay. You were just holding fire. Ah, yes. You already assigned the target. You were just holding fire. So we will open fire. Carl Cudden, we'll do the same with you. We'll clear you. We'll assign you. We'll open fire. And the Falkirk, we will clear sign open fire and there we go that's some missiles and then because I don't want to leave them like this uh, actually oh, we can even just in case we need to have another batch of shots so we'll hit ceasefire Oh yeah, it's it's running away. The other Drago is actually running away. That's why. Ah, with its power plant's down, it must have no way of shooting us. And because it has no way of shooting us, it's bugging out. It's the same speed as the other side. Bam! We killed both the Dragos. No sign of any? Interesting. There's no sign of any gas being vented, and there's no sign of any escape pods. Now normally, just like us, they should have escape pods. People should be fleeing the ships. But there aren't any. This means that this isn't an alien empire, as far as I'm aware. These are the precursors. Only precursors have no li uh, or swarm have no life pods. So, this is not an enemy empire, as far as I'm aware. This is, in fact, just the remnants of a long-lost old civilization who have left behind some robot ships. They didn't vent any gas, which means that they're not pressurized. Normally you get information about, oh, you know, you've hit it and there's venting gas. And there's no life pods because they're robot ships. 
I was heavily under the impression that these were not precursors because precursors tend to have ships a little bit bigger and I've never seen precursors using fax. I've never ever seen precursors using fax and we know for a fact that they have some. So these are not an enemy race. I was convinced they were. I've never seen a precursor using fax. Now, this may be because I'm using a modded uh, version of the game. It's a minor mods uh, that Serbadian did. Um, the main changes are some subtle things to like two or three modules that you use a player, but it's possible that he's changed how the precursors act to make them slightly more threatening. This is interesting. The amount of ships we also met was not really in line with precursors. Normally they have, you know, two, three. It doesn't feel like precursors, but the only way, the only way this can be any race is by it being precursors or swarm. It's not swarm, it's precursors. I am shocked and stunned and surprised. But it's precursors. So, that means that we don't have an enemy empire nearby. So it explains why they weren't being particularly aggressive towards us. They're just robots. And we can go over here. And we can rename you to Precursor. And, uh... Yep, yep. Okay, that's lovely. Nice errors. Lovely. Okay. Um... Oh, it's going to do that every time I type a variable in here? That's great. Right. And I think we will... Oh. Did it not save? Nimrace. Pre cursors. Yeah. Well, nonetheless, we're going to chase down the Kamaru. Here's the thing we know they had facts that headed in this direction. We know the Kamrus are running away after firing missiles at us. They're headed somewhere in this system to rearm. I will bet my eye teeth on it. So. We're going to chase them. And I'm going to set it to 30 seconds and we're, we're going to run three hours. And I know it's going to be a lot of subpulses. We need to make our way in system. Okay, let's try running... Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, okay. Five minutes. Eight hours. Now we are catching them slowly. They are inside our firing envelope, but remember they're moving away from our missiles, so we actually need them closer to fire. Yeah, that feels about right. Hmm. I do like the smell of fresh meat in the morning. I don't know if we could close in and we could fire gauze cannons at them, but I don't feel like that today. I feel like murder. So. You know that we've only got half these selected. I could go through and be like, all right, I have to rebind them all. What I can easily do, though, is just copy and task group. There we go. Back to normal. Uh, we're going to assign you. Assign you. And assign you. And we're going to open fire. Same as before. Same three ships. And then... Make sure we've got the task group selected before we cease fire, otherwise it won't work. And yes, you are holding fire. Let's see what happens when our missiles close in. Boom. 
Okay, some missiles missed. Arm strength at least three. Bang, 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 bang. Mm, they're still alive. Okay. Nonetheless, good hits. I think we'll do the same as we did last time. Whereas to save ammo, we will clear. Sign. Open fire. Clear. Assign. Open fire. And clear. Assign. Open fire. Bam. And then cease fire. Boom! New wreck, new wreck. No wreck there. No, no, we did get it. Okay, they are all wrecked. Sweet. Now, it says destination contact not found because our fleet is no longer actually headed anywhere. They're like headed towards a ship that doesn't exist. It got wrecked. So what we will do is we will tell you to remove and we're going to head to Liara 2. Why Liara 2? It's just a guess. I'm not even really basing this off of anything. There could be a base here anywhere. But we're going to head to Liara 2. In fact, maybe Liara 1, if it's, a, if it's an empire that used to exist on a planet or something. But it's possible. Mm, yeah, we'll take, a, we'll take a guess at Liara 2. Why not? Uh, Liara 1, sorry. Our fuel is there. Still good. What's your ETA to there? One day. Okay, let's get forward to eight hours. Somewhere around here, those facts are still. There we go! Yeah, they're firing missiles at us. There's nothing we can really do about that. Good five seconds. Lost contact again. Um, where were they going? I should have checked. Can I see old contacts? It's possible. There is there is a thing in one of the settings that allows you to see past contacts. Show hidden survey. Show. Lost contacts under the contact tab. There we go. Lost contacts. They were headed roughly the same angle as us, but they were one one degree off. So close enough. Okay. No, actually, just want to go like five minutes because they've definitely fired missiles at us. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this is not 27, which we've dealt with before. Sorry, 21, which we've dealt with before. This is 36. There's probably going to be hits here. We're going to have to get ready. Ah, you're complaining. This is why it's stopping me every five seconds, because it's complaining that we have no missiles to fire back. That's fine. I could turn their defense off. They don't have anything to fire. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm getting annoyed. Uh, right. Change your point defense mode to none. Copy and task group. Did that not copy? Did not copy. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. I didn't hit uh, set mode or something. Right. We killed them all. Holy cow. Our point defense is good. Never had a dream come true. Killed nine. Don't stop moving. Killed nine. S Club Party. Fired both weapons to kill nine. And the Reach. Fired both weapons to kill nine. Like... 
Never Dream Come True fired one weapon. That's 12 shots. Managed to kill nine missiles. That's crazy good. Our point defense is, I, you know, I hate to say the joke, but on point. Really on point. Okay, we're going to get to 30 seconds. Let's get forward to an hour. They are around here somewhere, defending some sort of base. They left. They got more missiles and they came back. They're here. Don't know where. Okay. Where? Where did you come from? Okay, let's do this. Lost contact. We're going to add a waypoint. Now, the way we're going to do this is we want to backtrack where they came from. Assuming they came at us in a direct line, which is going to be a crude modeling system, but it will work. Is if we hold shift and then click, you can do this. You can get a measuring line out. We're going to actually use the bug that's present to do click, drag, let go of shift, let go of click, the line stays on screen. Waypoint add and we're gonna waypoint here the reason is they came at us and then went back assuming they came at us in a direct line we can backtrack to find where they came from so we're going to take crusade for soul remove and then if we click waypoint waypoint move to waypoint uh, don't interest system jump. Uh, yes, right. Auto include Lagrange points. Don't do that. Normally that's great. In this case, no. We want to move directly towards that. I'm gonna turn off uh, contacts. Lost contacts. There we go. There's the next folly coming at us. Why are you stopping every so often? Uh, Inuit action. Okay. Slowly. Come on. Yeah! We just wiped them out with ease. We've got far more weapons than that. We've got twice as many destroyers. Hmm. Right. Keep traveling towards the waypoint. Hopefully they'll come back at us again. Did they come from Lagrange Point 2? Probably not that smart. Okay, so same again. They could have well come from Lagrange Point 2 there. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to Waypoint, add Waypoint. And then Crusade, Crusade Force Sol, click Waypoints, Waypoint 2, move 2.
Incoming missiles. Luckily, our point of defense is so good we can actually play this game. This is not normally the case. We murdered all of them again. And they're running. Ooh. Where are they running to? Now they're running directly away from us. This makes me feel that they just stopped somewhere. Because they went like this, right? They were going that way, and suddenly they changed direction. Which makes me feel there's something here. Let's look at our display. There we go. As I predicted. Asteroids with minerals only. Turn that off. There is an asteroid here. Asteroid number 33. That they just directly came from. What we will do. We save some more soul. Remove. Asteroid. Asteroid 33. Please. Move to. Now, if they do have a colony there, normally you, appear, you detect colonies with thermal sensors or EM sensors. Active sensors have an EM sensor built in. So I think we should be able to detect it. Although normally you do detect them using thermal sensors in my experience. That'd be pretty close. It's probably just a supply cache, which means it's going to have a very low signature. Yes! I'm the champion! Ugh. Predicted it! We triangulated their position, we backtracked them, we found and predicted where an asteroid would be. We looked at the data, suddenly there is an asteroid there. We went there, and it turns out that there is a thermal signature 10 population. It says heading, it's not got a heading, that's just the default heading. Uh, it's stationary, it's on the asteroid. So, this is a missile supply base. They did fire at us that time, which means they didn't actually have time to reload. So they're still in the system, but they can't reload. I'm assuming they only have the one base here. We can't catch them. There's no way for us to actually catch and kill them. But hopefully they have no weapons. Now, what we need to do is drop some troops, capture this, find out what's there, see if there's any tech. Because they might be useful tech. They could have spare missiles. We could take their missiles and use them. We also need to have a look at their ships. Which will require us to build some salvage vessels. We have so much data now that we can use. We can improve our fleet. We can use what's here. Or we can rebuild them better, faster, stronger. However, for now, we're going to end this episode. I've been there listening. Hopefully you've liked. If you have, give it a like, give it a subscribe. You know the drill by now. But until next time, I've been at Elysium. Stay shiny. <laughs>